Well, this is something I did not expect today, folks. I've got home and the microphone, the Rode mic on the Canon 80D has either come unplugged, I guess it's come unplugged, and we've got no audio for the whole freaking vlog. So, apart from the last little bit that I did when I got home, uh, where I'm prattling about making a cocktail, which I might add, I'm uh, a good couple of pints in to said cocktail now. Uh, this is why I didn't expect to be doing a voiceover for this video. So, what I'm going to do is a quick, slightly pissed q and I guess, uh, just to fill in the blanks. Uh, we'll keep it short, below 7-8 minutes, <clears throat> and uh, just play what visuals I've got that are worth saving. So let's just dive right in. I'm just going to scroll down the comments, I'm not sure particularly what where these questions are coming from, what video they're from, but I'll read them as quick as I can. So, Lee was it, an hour ago. Uh, well, some handles onto the bar, then screw it to the wood, easy lift off lids. And the same place to screw down on. Well, great idea. I will be doing that, sir. Tony Howard says, well done on the Spring Award. And good to see the lids are working. Cheers, Tony. Hi, Harry. It's Peter from Sydney. Just wondering how you're getting the grain out of the mash tun. Thank you. Yeah, all I'm going to do, uh, the mash tun's short enough for me to just get in there with a shovel. I'm just going to dig it out. Just going to dig it out. Nothing special. Uh, Kilner 79, I believe that's the uh, chap who delivers to us from Stansel Brewery. How you doing, man? Do you still need a plate chiller? He's found one. I've had a couple of links, actually, to plate chillers recently. Now I'm going to buy brand new. Second hand, 250, 300 quid, brand new, 450. We'll just use the counter flow for now and we'll buy brand new. So uh, I just I can't afford to throw any more money after something that's such a risk. D. McDonald, you could also have the lids go all the way around to the side of the fermenter, weld some threaded rod on, small holes on the lid where the thread goes through and tighten down the nuts. No need for any boxing on the top. But trouble is I've cut the lids, man. You know, I can't afford can't afford to buy any more steel for these lids now. We need to start getting some money back for the investment and uh, I'm not going to chuck any more money on steel. And God, it took me about four days to make them lids. Not doing it again. So the, I've I've made a solution. I've made it work. It's good enough. You know, near enough is good enough for this occasion. Uh, Le Jimster says I like the look of the pump clips, but I also like the old beer names. They were unique. I did as well. I really like the old beer names. I was quite I grew quite attached to them. I like I like Idle Valley. I like the name Idle Valley Brewery. But you know what? Uh, once you've had well, look, when you've been burgled, it never feels the same going into your own house again, does it? You know, if somebody shit on your doorstep, don't matter, every time you put the key in that door, you're going to smell that shit. I'm afraid uh, it's time to move on. Past yours new. Uh, Steve Elmbrew says, heads up, there's a spelling mistake on vacant gesture. I think it said vacang. Yeah, probably did. Or it could have been the font. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that font. What I do want is a handwritten style font at the bottom of the pump clips. So it gives that authentic feel, although the brewer's taken the time to write the tasty notes at the bottom of the beers, which I have. Uh, Keg Kingdom, hey Harry, is the rain cascading down from your roof into the wall cavity? Maybe patch the roof or extend the overhang. I'm no expert, but just a thought, buddy. Well, it's a fucking asbestos roof, dude. I ain't doing much more to it than I have already done. I can just stick bits of bitumen here and there. Uh, it doesn't go into the cavity, by the way. It overhangs. The issue is a wall leaning against the wall on the outside. Uh, an outbuilding leaning against it. It's somebody else's garden. Pain in the arse. Nothing I can do about it. Not the end of the world. You know, I'll just keep whacking paint on it until it stops. Mug it up from my end if I have to. Oh. Ken Fuller's put a good comment here. I'll just read this out to close us off. You're the only bloke I know who returns borrowed kit, fully serviced, top man. Well, if you're going to borrow something off me and you're going to return it unserviced, I'm never going to lend you again. So I do exactly the same. If somebody lends me something, 
I want to either return it to them in a better condition than I received it, or if that's not possible because of wear and tear, for instance, like you're not going to replace... Well, I would if I borrowed a grinder. I'd replace the freaking grinding wheel on it. But, yeah, that's a good mantra. That's the ethos that I've always worked to. You know, if you've got somebody else's stuff in your care, regardless of what it is, if you're babysitting children, driving someone else's car, living in someone else's house, don't trash it, man. Don't trash it. Return it in a better condition than you got it. You know, pass it on. Pass on the favour. Pass on the love. Right, that's it, folks. An unprompt you Q&A stroke comment reading because of a failed mic. Enjoy this cocktail mix. Try it. The sun's out this weekend. You'll fucking love it. I know you will. Cheers. So when I got home, I had a message from Tom uh, saying no vlog today. So I realised I'd set it to go out at 8 o'clock in the morning for tomorrow. Bit of a mistake. So to make up for the late upload yesterday, here's some bonus footage. Now I'm off the beer today. So let's make a cocktail instead. That's curry by the way. We've got a big jug of ice, a nice splash of vodka, just a little bit mind. Okay, nearly half a pint. Some peach snaps. Oh, I've, not, I've not left much room for the cranberry juice. Oh shit, I'll have a notepad. I'll have a notepad, Jim. She's waiting for me to do it. And that's how you make a woo woo. Woo woo! <laughs> I do it every time. <laughs> woo woo!